Streamlabs Ultra podcast quick tutorial. Using the podcast editor by Streamlabs simplifies editing and improves podcast quality. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick around tour on how to get this done. So I have here an example project. This is actually one that you have already here on podcast editor. Now the way that we are going to do this one is we have to go ahead and open this or you can go ahead and upload your own video or audio in here. Now basically what you're going to do is this one here. So first thing is we have the clips. Now if we are going to click this one here you can basically turn any content into a clip right away. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that done. So first things first I'm going to go ahead and highlight this one. Now once that is highlighted you can just go ahead and click the create clip in here now after doing so you're going to drag this one and make sure that you are using or you have the right position all right just like that and you can go ahead and play this one in order for you to check how it looks or how it sounds now if everything is okay just go ahead and click the export clip in here but yeah as you can see this is an example project only uh, this is a sample by Streamlabs, so you are not really allowed to do so. But again, if you have your own project or if you are using your own project, you can click this one here. Now again, I'm going to close this one. That is the first thing. Now another thing here is the templates. If you're going to click this one here, you have here an additional subtitles that you can use. You also have here translated. You can have your video translated from English to another language. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you this one by one. So first thing is this one here. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose this particular subtitle style. You also have this one or you can have more. Now after doing so, you can adjust the size of this one and put this wherever you want. So there it is now in the center. Now at this time you can translate the video as well so just go ahead and click this one here and then select the language which you want to translate it to. For example if I want to translate it to Swedish I can go ahead and click this one here. And then from here you should see that the subtitle has changed to Swedish as well. Now we're going to go back in here. Another one is auto editing. So if you're going to click this one here, you have the option to remove pauses and remove filler words automatically. So yep, that is very useful. You don't need to manually do it one by one. Now you can also add your own branding and yeah, we have already done the clips earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and close this one. So this is the subtitle here and this is a translation. We also have quick actions, the one that we did earlier. Now. This time, what if you are going to go ahead and delete some of the text? Now, this is actually very much functional because, again, this is podcast. Mostly, it is words, texts. So, what you're going to do if you want to delete something is this one. You're going to highlight the word, the sentence, or the phrase, just like so. And once you're done doing so, you can just go ahead and delete this one here. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys in order for you to see to cut your video in the podcast editor, simply highlight the word or phrase that you want removed. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, there is that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. All right, again, we have already highlighted. Click the delete button. There you go. And we're going to do the same thing here. Click delete and there you go. You can see that it's now gone, right? Now, another thing is you can also add another element. So click this one here. You have the text image and another element that you can add. So there's also an option in order for you to add video and audio. But again, you can't do it for this example project right here. So for example, if I were to click this one here, I can go ahead and add an emoji here. So there are different emojis that we can use. We also have a progress bar. Now, say for example, I'm going to go ahead and find something. All right, here left, I'm going to click add element. Oops. All right, and then you are going to see these suggested ones that are very much related to it. So for example, this one here, this one, this, this. So yeah, just go ahead and choose which one. For example, I'm going to choose this one here. And basically, I'm going to put this down here. All right, you can adjust this, the size of this one as well. All right, that's how it goes. And yep, apart from this one also, you can go ahead and change this one. As you can see, this is landscape. Now, if you were to click this one, you have the option to use it for portrait. So again, this is very much useful if you're going to post this to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Facebook or Instagram Reels. So yeah, that is a purpose of it. You also have this square here. This is mainly for Instagram. 
and yep that is very much it now you can just go ahead and click the export button in here you can export video audio subtitle and even the text so go ahead and choose how you want it done so congratulations everybody that is a simple walkthrough on streamlab ultras podcast Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.